Hello everybody, so today we will be discussing accounting for merchandising operations and we will be focusing on the two different types of inventory system which is the periodic inventory system and the perpetual inventory system. Before anything else, please download handout 030 which relates to periodic and perpetual inventory system. The link is available in the description box. Okay, the two types of inventory systems are periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. Yung nakasanayan nating way of recording journal entries na dinidiscuss natin in the previous lessons, ang ginagamit natin doon is periodic inventory system. But now, I will be introducing you to another inventory system which is the perpetual inventory system. Okay, so let's talk about it one by one. Under the system of periodic inventory system, there is no detailed record of inventory being maintained during the year. Only an actual physical count of the goods remaining on hand is required at the end of each period. Nalalaman lang natin ang proper inventory balances unless tayo ay magsagawa ng actual physical count at the end of the accounting period. Kaya po, nagkakaroon tayo ng beginning inventory, ending inventory. Kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng adjusting entry na pinapalitan natin yung beginning amount ng inventory sa ending amount ng inventory. Kasi, pag periodic system, kung kailan lang mag-physical count, dun ka lang makakapag-adjust, magkano, magkano na ba talaga ang amount at level ng inventory ko? Okay? So, in the periodic inventory system, there is no maintenance of uh, inventory records na talagang detalyado na kada may lalabas ng warehouse o may papasok ng warehouse, eh, re-record agad. So, parang hindi siya ganun. Okay? However, um, ang disadvantage kasi ng periodic inventory system, you don't know the proper level of inventory. What if mauubusan ka na pala, hindi mo sigurado, di ba? And, ang nangyayari is umaasa ka lang sa actual physical count at the end of the accounting period. What if kalagitnaan ng accounting period, kailangan mo na palang dagdagan yung inventory mo. Okay? So, the periodic inventory system does not maintain a detailed record of inventory. So, what happens is that we just adjust the accounting records at the time that we will just be doing an actual physical count of the inventories that we have. Now, the difference of a periodic inventory system with the other system, the perpetual inventory system, is that we have a detailed inventory record. Kada may papasok na inventory sa warehouse, ia-update natin ang record. Kada may lalabas na inventory dahil nagbenta tayo, eh talagang i-re-record din natin. Isa sa nakakatulong sa perpetual inventory system is yung nakikita nyo dito sa right side na inventory barcode scanner. no? So, pag inventory barcode scanner, i-scan niya kung ano yung inventory na lumabas or ano yung pumasok na inventory sa warehouse and then dumediretso yan usually sa accounting system. So, in every purchase and sale ay detalyado ang ating inventory records. The advantage of perpetual inventory system is that in every purchase and sale, we know the actual amount of inventory on hand, which can support management decision making in buying or purchasing inventories or kung kailangan ba muna nating tumigil bumili ng inventory kasi baka nag overstock tayo. Okay, so ganito lang siya kasimple. Kapag ka po periodic inventory system, walang maintenance ng detailed records. Pag perpetual inventory system, yung ating inventory records ay talagang ina-update in every purchase and sale. I hope you understand the difference between periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. And to further maximize your learning, we will now be doing a problem. Okay, so let's try recording these transactions, which involves both periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. 
For May 1, nagkaroon po ng purchase of merchandise from Ryu Merchandising amounting to 30,315 with the terms 2 over 10 and over 30. Dahil po ito ay purchase of merchandise on account kapag ka po periodic system, yan yung kinasanayan natin na natutunan nyo in the previous lessons, debit lang tayo ng purchases for the amount of 30,350 and credit accounts payable named to Ryu Merchandising, your supplier, for another 30,350. However, in perpetual inventory system, dahil sabi nga natin, talagang ina-update natin ang accounting records every purchase and sale, yung mismong inventory balance natin ang i-update natin. So, imbes na mag-debit tayo sa purchases, ang debit natin ay diretso sa account na merchandise inventory for the amount of 30,350 and then credit accounts payable for 30,350. Let's move on to May 2. Sa May 2, returned 1,200 pesos worth of defective merchandise to Ryu Merchandising. So, yung binili natin kay Ryu is ma defective daw doon is worth 1,200. So, sa ating periodic system, alam nyo na yan, debit lang natin yung accounts payable to Ryu Merchandising para mawala yung 1,200 and then i-record -re natin siya as purchase returns and allowances for 1,200. Ang kinaibahan niya sa perpetual system dahil nga lagi nating ina-update ang inventory records sa perpetual system, tatanggalin mo siya diretso sa merchandise inventory. Debit accounts payable Ryu Merchandising 1,200 and credit merchandise inventory for 1,200. Let's move on to May 3 transaction. Sold merchandise on account to Miss Friday Vargas worth 16,550, which is that is the selling price. That's on account, diba? Kasi 2 over 10 and over 30 ang terms. The merchandise costs 10,440. Anong ibig sabihin ng 16,550? And ano yung ibig sabihin ng 10,440? Yung ibebenta daw natin na merchandise kay Miss Friday Vargas, eh, unang binili ng company worth 10,440. Binenta natin ng 16,550. So you can grasp the situation that the sales amount is 16,550 and the cost of goods sold is 10,440. Pag pinag-minus nyo yung dalawa, syempre anong lalabas? Gross profit, gross margin. That is your tubo. So, in the periodic inventory system, we simply debit accounts receivable from Friday Vargas, which is 16,550 selling price, and then credit sales for 16,550. Sa perpetual inventory system, ganun pa rin po ang recording natin ng sales. Debit accounts receivable, Friday Vargas, 16,550, and credit to sales, 16,550. Pero, pag nagre-record tayo ng sales sa perpetual inventory system, again, we need to take into consideration that the inventory records and the accounting uh, records or the inventory records in the ledger shall always be updated in every purchase, return, or sale. So, magsaset up tayo ng entry na magre-recognize na may lumabas na inventory from the warehouse dahil nagbenta tayo. Debit, cost of goods sold for 10440 which is the cost of the merchandise that was initially purchased bago mo siya binenta kay Friday Vargas. And then credit, merchandise inventory, 10440 I hope you understand kung bakit dalawa ang entry natin na required kapag ka perpetual inventory system. It's because we need to record the sales transaction and we also need to record na may lumabas na inventory in the warehouse. And accordingly, kailangan nating ibawas dun sa inventory records natin. And then for May 5, that is just a simple sales transaction to Miss Yoon for 5680 which simply debits cash and credit sales. That will still be the same entry for the perpetual inventory system, but always remember, in the perpetual inventory system, meron tayong additional entry to record the sales of the goods na inventory na lumabas sa warehouse. So debit, cost of goods sold, and credit merchandise inventory for 3500 the cost of the merchandise. Sa May 8 transaction naman, purchase computer set from Unsu sales amounting to 57,880. 57, okay, ano sa tingin nyo to? Purchases ba to? 
or diretsong merchandise inventory na iba eh, computer set. Huwag kayong malilito sa mga problem na medyo nililito kayo, okay? Ang computer set ay part ng company's equipment. So, hindi siya inventory ha. So, ang entry natin sa May 8, diretsyo natin, debit equipment, credit cash, and same amount and entry with the perpetual inventory method. For May 10 naman po ay paid Rio Merchandising in full. So, nagbayad daw po tayo kay Rio Merchandising. Ang utang po natin kay Rio Merchandising is 30,350 pero nag-return po tayo ng merchandise na 1,200. So, ang babayaran na lang po talaga natin kay Rio Merchandising is 29,150. Yun nga lang po, ang terms po kasi kay Rio Merchandising is 2 over 10 and over 30. May 1 po yung transaction, ang 10th day po ng May 1 transaction ay May 11. Since May 10 po nagbayad si company, pasok po sa discount period. So, kukuha na po natin ng 2%, yung 29,150, which is 583 pesos na i-record po nating purchase discount. Ang babayaran na lang po natin kay Rio Merchandising is a cash amount of 28,567. Sa perpetual inventory method naman po, same procedure, yun nga lang po, may may iba ng konti sa entry natin. Imbes na purchase discount po, ang gagamitin natin pang credit dun sa discount is merchandise inventory diretso. Kasi po, under IAS 2, we record. Pag sinay pong IAS 2, International Accounting Standard 2. Ibig sabihin nung International Accounting Standard 2, yun po yung accounting standard na nagre-relate sa inventory. So, according to International Accounting Standard 2, the cost of inventory shall involve the cost of the purchase and then kasama rin po dun yung cost na uh, binayaran natin in order for the inventory to have it in the location of the buyer. Kaya nga po ina natin yung freight in, di ba? If you would remember. Pero minaminus po natin lahat ng discount. So, katulad po niya, nagka-discount po tayo. So, yung, yung cost ng inventory ay eh, nabawasan ng 583 pesos kasi nabigyan po tayo ng 2% discount. Okay, let's continue with May 11. Sa May 11 naman, sold merchandise on account to Lana Kala, 25,000. So, alam nyo na yan, diretso lang tayo, accounts receivable from Lana Kala, 25,000 and then credit sales po tayo ng 25,000. That will also be your same entry to record sales under the perpetual inventory system. Pero i-record po natin sa perpetual inventory system yung paglabas ng inventory sa warehouse worth 22,000. Debit cost of goods sold, 22,000. Credit merchandise inventory, 22,000. Sa May 12 naman po, Friday, Vargas paid her account in full. So, kung babalik po tayo sa transaction kay Miss Friday Vargas, nung May 3 po siya nangyari. And then, 2 over 10 and over 30 din po. So, ang 10 days po ng May 3 ay May 13. May 12 po nagbayad. Uh, uh, si Miss Friday Vargas. So, bibigyan po natin si Miss Friday Vargas ng discount. Okay, so ang mawawala po siyempre yung accounts receivable natin kay Ms. Friday Vargas na 16,550. Pero hindi natin siya marireceive ng buo kasi nagbigay po tayo ng discount na 2%. And the 2% of 16,550 is 331 pesos. Kaya ang marireceive natin cash, 16,219. And that will be also the same entry for the perpetual inventory system. Wala po tayong ibang... Uh, Entry na related sa inventory kasi na-record na natin yung paglabas ng inventory nung time na nagbenta tayo kay Miss Friday Vargas. And then lastly, on May 25, Lana Kala, Lana Kala paid her account in full. So, tingnan natin kung bibigyan natin ng discount si Lana Kala. Uh, 25,000 yung selling price nung binili niya sa atin. 2 over 10 and over 30. Ang 10 days po ng May 11 ay May 21. Kaso, May 25 na. So, hindi po siya pumasok sa discount period. We simply debit cash for the amount received from Ms. Lana Kala of 25,000. Credit accounts receivable for 25,000. And that would also be the same entry in the, per in the perpetual inventory system. I hope you understand our lesson today and our next lesson would be about special journals and subsidiary ledgers. Always remember... To ask the Lord for His guidance and wisdom sa pag-aaral. Uulitin ko sa inyo, call to me and I will answer you and tell you. Great and unsearchable things you do not know. Pangako ng Panginoon na kapag lumapit tayo sa Kanya, Siya ang magbibigay sa atin ng karunungan. Basahin niyo sa Bible, Jeremiah 33, 13-14.
verse 3. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.